At 30 feet 7 inches long, roughly 5,900 pounds dry, but can sleep 8 to 10 people, this is one of Coleman's more popular bunkhouse family floor plans. And if you've been looking for that entry-level RV with all the features and amenities, plus that trademark durability that Coleman's been known for, you're going to love the 262BH. Hey, what's up? It's Chris Young. Just hanging out here in the redesigned, updated 2022 Coleman Lantern 262BH. I got to tell you, I like what they did this year. The first notable change, this wall, which used to come all the way out past the bunks on these double over double bunks, is gone. This is a turtle friendly coach. So when the slide is in, before you could access the master, bath, the, the master bedroom, go in, take a nap, you know, you could access the fridge, but getting to the bathroom was a little challenge because the wall was here. Well, now that's gone and it's a lot easier to access the bathroom because as you can see, now the door rests against the bunks. So let's talk about this beautiful 262. And while we're in the bathroom, Bobby, let's just start here. Herringbone pattern in that single surround shower, high rise plastic Dometic bowl with the foot flush. Plus you got the curtain. Let's see what the space looks like in here. So last year it was a little tight. It's still a tad bit tight, but you know, being tall and kind of plump, I'm, I'm okay. I got plenty of space. I'm not cramped. I got extra countertop space here, GFCI outlet there, mirror and hanger, as well as the single basin sink with hot and cold, plus the little storage shelf underneath. And inside the shower, now being six foot two, I do, have good clearance here. So I'm not cramped left or right or up or down. Plus I got my shower controls here with the hot and cold nozzle. I got my powered vent and fan. This is a 12 volt. So if you get some solar panels put on this bad boy, uh, you could easily run this, uh, you know, run that off of solar, just like you could with your ever chill fridge. Uh, let's talk about the bunks. So double over double bunks here on the campsite, 300 pound capacity, dual USB charging, LED mushroom lights on both. Plus you got the solid mounted ladder here to help the kids or the dogs get up onto the bunk. And I, I do like how they went from wood this year to metal and it's solid mounted. You just gotta be careful because these lips on both the bottom and the inside are still metal. So if somebody's running or grabbing quick, there's a chance they could cut themselves. Get yourself some grip tape, wrap it around here, wrap it around the bottom. That'll really help out. Plush and comfortable over two inches thick on these Teddy Bear Bunk Series mattresses. Plus you got a little storage compartment underneath on both sides. Good spot for, you know, if you want some fishing gear, some hunting gear, whatever, you could put that there. Now, this is the bolder decor that we have this year for 22. It's a little bit lighter than it was last year. And last year, they really brightened up the interiors. Gone is that brown on gray. What they've done is they've given you this gray, almost taupe combination when it comes to the color scheme here. So the wood grain is beautiful and light. Shaker style cabinets with the matte black features here with your pantry, as well as your little grab and go storage box, as I like to call it, right above your fuse panel. And seated beside that is your 10.7 cubic foot Everchill fridge freezer combo that is 12 volt, it's frost free, vibration smart, good space in here and really does a good job of getting things cold. But let me tell you, when you are running, and there's your locked latch for when you're in travel, if you're going boondocking and you are trying to uh, you know, run off the coach batteries, these 12 volt fridges will drain that battery quick. So get those solar panels. You do have a, a quick connect that's pre-wired right up front. Get those to help trickle charge the battery. Over here on the campsite, as you can see, my large decorative slide, once again, with this boulder decor, that nice gray finish on the wood inlay. Plush and comfortable are my cushions. They've also upgraded these this year. Gone is that leatherette. This is more of a plush, soft feeling type of fabric that is, you know, it, it almost feels like it's it's coated, so it'll be, you know, resistant to a lot of spills. But since it's dark, it's gonna show wear and tear and stains less anyway. You got storage under both sides. This does reduce down into a sleeper. You got large panoramic windows with wood balances here and those pull privacy shades. You got the little inlays here with the mushroom lights. And you got the jackknife sofa 
which new for this year, uh, not only do you have the pull string, but check it out. You got the little kickback leg stand there. So, I mean, I'll take that. This is kind of nice and comfortable, whether you're gonna reconnect and make those memories, enjoying those camp cook meals with the family right here in the booth dinette, watching the lake, the mountains, the ocean, whatever, just, just reconnecting, disconnecting, and reconnecting. That's, that's what RVing is all about. And let me tell you, when you make those memories, it's, it's so awesome. It's stuff that the kids will enjoy for a lifetime. This is actually really comfortable too, but this does kick out into a sleeper. You could get one there, maybe two there if you like the spoon. You do have the double over double box. All together, you're looking like eight to 10 people could sleep in this 262 BH. Now let's come to the campsite kitchen. Right here, you're gonna see we got these pressed surface countertops with the decorative inlay following the decor of this boulder uh, interior that we have. A large, oversized, uh, this is a pot and pan sink, with the high rise faucet. I would like to see a sprayer added to this. I think that just brings a lot more uh, use and value to the RV. But check out my decorative Spanish tile backsplash that we have there too. Large window, 48 inches there, uh, or excuse me, 46 inches there, uh, giving you good visibility. And uh, if you wanna check out what the kids are doing over there on the campsite, who's out there messing with my stuff, if I hear them put the steps down one more time, I'm gonna lose it. You got the visibility right there. Flush mounted Greystone microwave, got your Greystone hood and your Furion three burner cooktop with the little LED accent light on the back and the glass cover that doubles as a backsplash. Plus you got the 16 inch Furion oven, do some baking. If you use this as a fishing cabin or a hunting cabin, uh, you wanna drain the lake of fish, there you go. On your drawers, good solid wood construction, full extension on the ball bearing drives. Got good storage here. Even got some pot and pan storage underneath your oven or another grab and go spot. I mean, this is this is the thing I like about Coleman, man. Coleman knows camping. They've been doing it for over a hundred years. They're making campers for 60 years. And they understand, especially with these entry level RVs, you want some features and amenities. You want some creature comforts of home, but more importantly, you want something that's durable and gonna last. If You've been looking for that entry-level RV, your first foray into getting out of the camp and coming into the RV. Coleman is the name to trust. It's the way to go. Beautiful shaker-style cabinets here. Frosted glass inlay in my pantry cabinets. I got my space there. I got my Dometic 13,500 BTU AC with the quick cool dump. Right there is your filter compartment if you need to change that out. Uh, you open this up for the quick cool, close it, you get the ducts with the uh, blade ducting system, a great innovation that the parent company came up with. What that does is it's superior AC cooling. The system, the way it's ducted and with these blade vents gives you about 20 to 30% more e effective and efficient cooling. So that 13.5 BTU AC does a good job. You have 30,000 BTU furnace ducted in the floors here. And as we make our way to the master, You'll see we got our entertainment center here, TV backer. You got your powered wine guard cable connect there if you wanna do some boosting. Uh, this is already pre-wired for 4G LTE antenna boosting as well. Speakers mounted in the ceiling. Little component shelf here, that press surface countertop. I got my little boss stereo system there, giving me some entertainment. I believe we also have the USB ports. If you wanna plug that in, you can. Plug your cell phone in. Little component shelf there. Little storage space there, two shelves. Plus you got the little, what I like to call the mudroom storage. So if you wanna bring your shoes and kick them out under there, you absolutely can. Now with this bedroom configuration, when you walk into the main entry point, you'll notice that right here, we have our controls, check your battery, your tanks, run out the awning, as well as run out the slide, cut on your gas, water heater, your pump, uh, and the lights. And you even have the little trash can storage or laundry storage. I've seen a lot of people take this trash can out, put it someplace else, and then use, use this as like a little laundry basket. But a nice little addition to maximizing the space over there on the side. But when you walk in and you go into the master, you got double entry to the master. It's not a true walk around, but you can get up and come use the bathroom or whatever in the middle of the night without waking up your loved one by having to walk around the bed. So you got pocket door here, as well as a pocket door on the off camp side, leading you into the master with the queen size bed. 
I got my little storage shelf up top, mirrored ward storage on both sides, plus nightstands with a little cubby storage, dual USB charging and 110. I even got me a little GFCI outlet over here on the off camp side. I got me some storage underneath. Just lift up that high density. Oh, sorry, Bobby. I'm sorry, did I attack you with the cover there? Did your camera just get attacked? Yeah, you're lucky it was a camera, not you. I saw what you did with my Snickers bar and I don't appreciate it. Solid wood balances on both sides. Open this up, get some good cross light in here. Got the TV backer. 110 as well as cable connection. I'm just not a fan of the TV backer being on either the camp or the off camp wall. I like it in the middle because when you're laying in bed, if you actually want to watch TV at night, you got to do, you know, one of these or, you know, you're up and you're, and you're turning. Just not for me. Not for me. But overall, the 262BH, if I needed something for the family, if I needed something as a fish house uh, or as a fishing cabin, hunting cabin, this would be a good one. I got upgraded, slip resistant, easy to clean flooring, matches the decor. The new boulder interior looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So we've seen the inside. What do you say we go take a look at the outside? So here we are on the outside of the all new Coleman 262BH, the lantern. Now we're going to start with this super flex roof that goes all the way over the top. You got the gray and the black on the white graphics. And of course, that trademark Coleman lantern logo up front. You got the rough edge for the diamond plating or, or for the rock guard down here, all seated on top of that single welded frame, one of the oversized frames. A lot of uh, entry level RVs won't have a frame this thick. So you'll see ones are like maybe six or eight inches. It's nice to see one like this. Right here, you got the rails for the battery box and you see our pre-wired and already set up uh, for the solar panels if you wanna get those. I highly recommend getting solar panels. Twin 20 pound LP tanks as well as a powered tongue jack up front. With Coleman, it was about the convenience. You also had the enclosed underbelly on this unit and you'll notice that most of your Lantern LTs will come with either this pre-wired or you'll actually have the electric stabilization jacks. You'll notice you'll have that little switch right there with the rocker controls for your stab jacks. Here you got your finished off pass through storage. That's your 30 amp power cord in there. You'll see how this kind of matches the flow of the rest of the uh, boulder decor inside the RV. You got the magnetic latches for your anti-slam doors. Would like to see covered hinges on there as well. Got the sealed safety windows going all the way around this coach. Large awning with the LED light strip. The Lippard solid steps leading into the main entry point. And the thing I like about these, not only do they have the grip tape on them, the top step is extra large. Additional safety, but also pet friendly. Friction hinge door leading into the main entry point. Marine grade speakers on the outside. You want to set up some outside entertainment? Got your GFCI outlet there. Plug it in. Do your boom box, charge your cell phone, get your fresh water fill right here. Got the double axle. Those are those steel rims, nitro filled tires on the Dexter Easy Lube axles. And you notice the berth right there, the extra wide distance between these two wheels. It's just going to help with the stability of going down the road. You're not going to have that chucking and bucking as you go or rocking. Rear stabilizer jack powered as well. Four by four sewer hose storage. We are set up for backup camera. There's your mount for it. Plus you got the arch ceilings with the three inch rain nozzles on both sides. Come around yeah, to our main terminations. And you'll see now that there's your gray tank and your black tank. Now Coleman does have some really good tank capacities. So for example, this has got 52 and dual 42s. So 52 gallon white tank, 42 gallon gray and black tank. Some of the larger capacities you're gonna see in travel trailers. And for quote unquote entry level, really good, especially if you want to go boondocking. 30 amp plug here. And I think I saw the reinforcements on your stabilizer jacks. You see those yellow bars? That just gives you a little additional reinforcement. Got the slide right here, insulated around on that one as well. Housing our booth dinette and the jackknife sofa. Come over here to the other side of the pass through storage. You also get your external command center with portholes. You can run your connections through for your city water as well as your cable. And right there's another little GFCI outlet and a spray port. So if you want to have like an external shower, you got your hose right here that plugs in. Uh, you got that option there as well. 
close this and lock it. But the most important part of any RV is gonna be this info panel right here. This is where you come to see, okay, how much does this vehicle weigh? So for example, unloaded vehicle weight, 5,902 pounds. Gross vehicle weight, 7,600 pounds. Take that information back to your specialist at Camping World or at Gander and say, hey, what does that mean? You know, for 30 feet, seven inches can sleep, you know, eight to 10 uh, with that nice bunk layout, good space and room. Sorry, getting eaten up by bees here. They apparently want the 262 as well. I gotta tell you, entry-level RVs, Coleman's a great way to go. And if you're looking for something that size, that weight, to sleep that many people, take a look at the 262 BH. You will not go wrong. But leave me some comments down below and let me know what you like about it, what you not like about it. I love how they move that wall to make it even more turtle friendly. Plus, it gives you more access and visibility, visibility to the bunks, like the updated decor. Not crazy about where the TV mount is. And I need a sprayer for my faucet. But other than that, great little coach. Uh, leave us some comments down below. And while you're at it, please click like, subscribe, and notify. So the next time we do a video, you're the first one to get it. I'm Chris Young for Camping World and Gander. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. Hope you enjoyed the Coleman Lantern LT262BH. Until next time, I'll catch you later. And please come check out our RV because they're fun.